I am Ian Rinyon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. And you may wonder, why the hell am I uh, releasing a new podcast episode? You see, it's a very, uh, it's a very special one, a very uh, more of an emergency podcast episode because, yeah, um, it this needs to be tackled. Uh, on this episode of the Intrepid Podcast because I don't know if I'm going to have edits for this th- this one uh, uh, aside from the, the obvious uh, edits but you know what I may not have to go with and edit this b- because I really need to talk about this I really need to talk about something that definitely is uh, a problem in not only uh, the online scene, especially on YouTube, but as well as society in general. Because if you're not living under a rock, you may... Uh, let me fill you in, if I, if I have to say. Let me fill you in with what happened. So, you all know about Mr. Beast, right? And... He has a best friend slash co-presenter who was formerly known as Chris Evans. Eh, Chris Evans. No, it's not Chris Evans. It's Chris Tyson. Okay? Sorry. I just have to... Uh, I don't have any script for this, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, the guy's name is Chris Tyson. But around last year or in the past few years, he has transitioned into a trans woman and is now known by uh by his or slash her uh but I still need to prefer uh you know I still uh identify identify him as a as a guy uh his new name is Ava Alpha Victor Alpha Ava Tyson actually there's also Chris but instead of C H R I S it's K R I S to reflect you know the changes on on his preferred uh, gender or whatever so yeah uh ladies and gentlemen it is just uh it's just i don't want to say sad but it's just tragic that we have to talk about this not just because a lot of youtubers or commentary youtubers are doing so but because this ties a lot to uh, not only my personal stuff or the personal things that I believe in, but also basically for the common good. And it all started with Sunny V2 and his um, and his video regarding uh, Mr. Beast. Uh, A.K.A. Jimmy Donald's son and his, uh, and his friend Chris Tyson. The TLDR is this: Chris Tyson and Jimmy Donald's son go a long way back. I think they are childhood friends, childhood best friends, and all that. And then Jimmy uh, decided to create a YouTube channel so that he can basically be known. Uh, for some reason, and then, right then and there, he he laid out the business model of his channel into something of a poverty. I don't want to say the four letter P word, because but um because it it might be demonetized here on YouTube, or on YouTube even though this podcast episode would be also released on Spotify and on Substack, but suffice it to say that Mr. Beast eventually became a poverty four-letter P-word um, content creator because if you notice, all of the recent videos or are, are the, the videos that he have for the past five years at the minimum, five years at the minimum, he has been giving away, if not money, goods. 
if not goods, uh, something very valuable. It's just that. He's giving away something. And you know, it's a bit... Okay, there's nothing wrong with being philanthropic and, uh, you know, being altruistic on something, but there is this part of me, personally, that I find that, uh, that notice that this seems to be empty gestures, if you know what I mean. It's just too empty, giving for the sake of giving, philanthropy for the sake of philanthropy, altruism for the sake of altruism. There's no higher goal. There's no uh, there's no higher goal that is basically uh uh you know strengthening what we can call the common good. And before I sound political and all that shit, I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh Yeah, so that's something that I have noticed and some YouTubers and some uh, concerned content creators are noticing. But at the same time, in the past few years, Chris Tyson has abandoned his muscular, masculine, uh, uh, paternal figure because he was a husband and a father to a a little boy and yet he squandered it away and he became uh, and he transitioned from a masculine a, an average masculine guy to more to a more effeminate one and then the bombshell dropped last year when Chris Tyson announced that he is now a she. And um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Chris announced this in Anthony Padilla's uh, YouTube YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. And then, after that, Sunny V2 made that consequential video and he never, uh, uh, and, um, and to Sunny's credit, he never responded to any of the bullshit that was thrown at him in the past year because just this week his prophetic um insight just came fucking true sunny v2 just became a fucking prophet perhaps now making a prophet too Sorry for the word pun, but I guess um, he does deserve it after all of the bullshit that uh, he has gone through, not only by those who criticized him, but also by Mr. Beast fans who are now who are now in damage control because of what happened. Now, there are conflicting, um, there are conflicting, let's just say, messages that uh that Chris and Jimmy are uh, telling the world because uh, Chris started out by basically saying that he wanted to voluntarily leave Mr. Beast so he can focus on uh, his family and mental health which is basically a which is basic basically bullshitties for um I'm sorry for the things that I have said, but I deny the allegations that uh, that were thrown against me. However, the bombshell dropped when Jimmy himself basically told the world that Chris Tyson is fired. And I am going to read to you the very uh, the tweet that um Jimmy uh wrote on X the social media platform formerly known as Twitter and it goes like this and i quote 
Over the last few days, I have become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online. And Ava Tyson here is the new name of Chris Tyson as a trans woman. And I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I, I will allow the independent investigators to the necessary time to conduct a co comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. But then again, those who have been following all of this, and I honestly, ha I honestly uh, have Chris Tyson's transitioning uh, from man to woman, which will never ever happen biologically, if I have to say so myself, uh, it has been under my radar ever since it happened. And, I'm, and, I, and I told myself, if this guy did some did some bullshit, uh Mr. Beast is going to go downhill from here. And you know what? All of that accusation against Chris Tyson is going to affect Jimmy Donald's son for the rest of his career and the rest of his life. Because not only was Chris his uh, best friend but also let's just say business partner because he has some fucking stake on the the enterprise or the media production firm which we we call Mr. Beast and there are a lot of religious folks who are very much and uh, very much uh, not really gleeful but in the in a in an I told you so tone and right foot and um and uh, I can definitely uh give them that because the the fact that <laughs> Jimmy is using the term beast and these people are basically you know correlating the whole damn thing to the book of revelation you know the mark of the beast the number of the beast the beast the beast the beast because it's because Jimmy Donaldson is Mr. Beast. But uh, that aside, I would just like to let you know that correlation does not equal to causation, of course. But their concerns regarding Chris Tyson is justified. Because as I mentioned, I don't know if I have mentioned earlier, but let's just uh, say that Chris transitioned from a from an average masculine guy with a with a wife and a son to an effeminate I don't want to say piece of shit but given the allegations against him and they're quite damning yeah he became an effeminate piece of shit if proven guilty again it's going to affect Jimmy Donaldson very much because uh, not just personally but also professionally and besides it's going to it's just going to you know uh exacerbate all of the bad shit that perhaps uh Jimmy is uh doing with Mr. Beast because as I said if I'm not if I'm not mistaken I have already said or I'll I'll reiterate again that Mr. Beast seems to be become a poverty four letter P word not really star but yeah I guess he is because he is a he is one of the largest if not the largest YouTuber in the history of the platform, in the history of the online world. To, it, to reiterate, he is probably a poverty four-letter P-word star. 
because of his philanthropy, his altruism, and uh, his philanthropy, his um, his philanthropy, his generosity, and his altruism. Because as I, as we all know, there is something, there is a there is a reason why you are being philanthro- philanthropic, generous. You're giving away all of your uh, giving away all of the money that you have earned on YouTube and all of your other endeavors and being altruistic. There's something more to that. There should there should be something, there should be a reason why and it's not just giving for giving's sake. It's not just philanthropy for philanthropy's sake. It's not just about generosity for generosity's sake and Absolutely, it's not just about altruism for altruism's sake. Because, you know, it's just making yourself famous. It's just you you giving someone uh, something that they need, but at the same time, you have a camera to, uh, to prove it so that you can, um, you can boast to, to people that I have done this and uh and because of the uh because of the uh mantra fix or didn't happen it's fucking insane that we are living in this world like this that uh an uh, allegations by a trans person and i ha- i have to uh i have to say this very very um very very uh Cautiously, not everyone, not everyone in the trans community is like Chris Tyson. But Chris Tyson is a trans person, and I do commend some of them uh, for disowning this guy because what he did was absolute, absolutely predatory. No fucking question about it. What he did was predatory. And on behalf of all the sensible people who just wanted to live their lives, of course, uh, of course, this is going to be something Jimmy Donaldson have to talk, have to, um, have to reconsider. Because, you know, it's not just about Chris Tyson, but it's also about his own personal ethics. Uh, You know, on how he does things. Because sometimes, or a lot of people are saying that, you know, all of the things that Jimmy and his crew are doing in the Mr. Beast channel, some of it, some of it is too good to be true. And if it is too good to be true, it probably is, as we all say. How can I, you know, how can I say this? I have to say more. Wow. I don't know. I really don't know what, where, where to go from here. But you know what? Given that not only commentary YouTubers or commentary uh, YouTubers uh, who are the mainstream in the commentary community are uh, not only them it's not only them that are talking about this i have just watched uh, a a piece by brett cooper from the daily wire and michael lofton a catholic youtuber who is dipping his toes into this drama and you know to answer michael lofton in his uh, in his piece because he asked if it is the downfall if it is the beginning of the downfall of Mr. Beast I frankly say yes this might be there's nothing wrong with falling down sometimes of course we live and we learn but uh, the thing is Jimmy Donaldson should have done this earlier Jimmy should have discovered this way before the world does, way before the whistleblowers and the 
and the victims came forward to the world and tell all of the bullshit that Chris Tyson did. While I do understand that he has a he has an image to protect. Ironically, it part of it is to cut off the people that would damage that image. I mean, to be frank, Jimmy should have done that years before, a year before. Or, you know, he shouldn't have uh, sent his minions and his supporters to shit on Sunny V2 only to be vindicated in the most incredible, incredible way. He should have discerned. He should have discerned very well that this kind of commentary from Sonny had some sense. It may basically make or break him. And un- and uh, unfortunately, Jimmy didn't um Jimmy didn't you know, Jimmy didn't uh learn from that and he's only learning now well at least uh better late than never but then again there are a lot of opportunities for donaldson to have uh to have uh chastised at the very least uh chris tyson but he didn't do it he didn't and now he is facing the consequences not only from the commentary community not only from conservatives not and e- but also even from liberals who are uh who are opposed to uh doing things uh, i mean uh, um who are opposed to adults doing things with minors as if you know what i mean Jimmy Donaldson has just Uh, faced the ire of the world because if you have noticed in my accent and in my name I am a Filipino but then again in my country there are a lot who are influenced by Mr. Beast or, or who are who have been influenced by the way Mr. Beast does things especially now that I am recording this uh, during the week that a tropical storm or a typhoon uh, strengthened the southwest monsoon, bringing rains to most of most of my country and basically inundated low-lying areas, especially in metropolitan Manila. I have a partner who ha- who has exp- whose family experienced. Um, who has experienced uh, the worst flooding in, in in that area's history in 2009. 15 years later, almost, it happened again. But because somehow local governments here in the Philippines have learned their lesson, at the very least, it's not as worse as as it is back in 2009. But going back to Mr. Beast, his formula of poverty four-letter P-word is basically influential in most of the content creator, most of the Filipino content creators, especially during this time of crisis and calamity and uh, natural disasters. They would pool their resources it's it's a good thing that they would they're pooling their resources to you know provide aid and relief to uh to my fellow filipinos who are who have been affected by all of the all of this but then again they would they would uh they would also train their cameras or they would uh use their cam or uh turn on their cameras and um 
you know, uh, document every single uh, every single movement or every single move that they have done to uh, to deliver these uh, these relief goods to uh, to those who are affected. And I'm sorry to say if I have I'm sorry if I have to, you know, have to quote a uh, Christian scripture here because I am a Catholic. The Philippines is a majority Catholic country and you know it's very much uh, appropriate appropriate to uh, you know quote this passage from the gospels. Yes, I am quoting something from the Gospels. I'm just looking it up. Uh, I really wanted to do it on the computer, but I have a Bible in my desk. So I'll just have to look for it. And uh, I might be silent for a few moments here. One moment. All right, I'm back. And uh, I've just found the verses or the uh biblical verses that i am basically you know i'm basically um um give to you to con- conclude this um emergency episode of the intrepid podcast because you know i have been very much um reminded of these biblical verses both of the both of them are in the gospels because it just reflects the uh the situation at hand especially with Mr Beast and Chris Tyson according to the gospel of St Matthew chapter 6 verses um uh verse 3 verses 3 to 4 to be uh to uh provide the full context when thou do- doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. And that is directed to Jimmy Donald- Donaldson and to all the poverty four-letter P-word creators out there around the world. And this next verse from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 8, verses... uh, 36 to 37. I'm redirecting this to Chris Tyson, who has alleged or has uh, claimed to be a Christian both before and after he transitioned. Chris, I would, I'm sharing this verse to you because I have to do this. This is my duty as a fellow Christian. Jesus said, for what shall pro- it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall, it, um, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And maybe I'll end with uh, verse 38 here. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And on that note, I end today's emergency episode of the Intrepid Podcast. I may not go ahead and go with the closing spiel. I just have to uh, get this sorted out because I am now... uh, Basically recording for half an hour. The recording for this is going to be on YouTube, on Spotify, and on Substack. So 
uh, you have three options to listen to this uh, episode and all of my, all of my previous episodes in um uh, on the uh, on the Intrepid podcast. Also, I primarily am on YouTube, and that's the reason why I'm doing all of this shit. So um, if you can, please subscribe to this uh, to my YouTube channel Intrepid Ian Rinyon. Ring the notification bell by selecting all. Like the um. I don't want to say video, but yeah, like the, uh, like the content that I'm going to release there and share it around, or maybe share as well the Spotify and Substack, uh, versions of this episode, and uh, yeah, I guess that's all that I wanted to say at this point, and um, bottom line, I just hope that Jimmy Donaldson would learn his lesson, and as for Chris Tyson. All that I want to say is this. May God have mercy on your soul. That's all I can say. With all that said, this is Intrepidy and Rinyon reminding you to at all times, now more than ever, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other. And thank you for tuning in. From here in Intrepid HQ, See you next time for another talk here on the Intrepid Podcast. Ian out. Thus saith the Lord, it is impossible that scandals should not come, but woe to him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck. And he cast it on the sea, and that he should scandalize one of these little ones.